Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I actually just started this video with, hi, I hope you're having a wonderful video. I am so incredibly rusty still. I cannot remember the last time I did just a sit down chatty video, um, you know, well, my goodbye video, which was only eight minutes, very short. I can't remember what I filmed in January. It's totally gone. But this is a subject that has been on my mind for about two years now. And it is why I stopped selling my bags and should I reconsider and should I let some of them go. Um, before we get into that, I just want to thank those of you who took the time to watch my cooking vlog video. I know those are never going to be the most popular types of videos that I do and I really appreciate each and every one of you that took the time to watch that. The ones of the, you that like it, like it and I appreciate you a lot for that. So I have not sold a bag well over a year and a half and I can only think of two I've sold in the last two years. Um, the I don't even remember what size it was anymore. The very, not the smallest cocoa handle, but the one next to that. It's very, very petite and the so black, the Chanel cocoa handle, and the black Louis Vuitton twist. Beyond that, I have not sold anything and I, I'm pretty sure it's close to two years. I used to sell bags all the time. If you've been with me on my channel, you have seen me flip a lot of bags. And a lot of that was I didn't know my sense of style. I was all over the place. I was very easily influenced and I needed the money to buy something else. So that was like a combination of things. Um, I, those are all not the situation anymore. I'm very, very good about returning things. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I have two bags that I was planning on getting for myself for my birthday that went back. I think there was a total of five or six. I don't even have pictures of all of them. I, and, and I got, I didn't see any of these in person. I ordered these all online. So it's not like I'm crazy and I went to the store and tried it on for hours. I ordered them all online, but it just didn't work out for me. And I had a post on Instagram yesterday about this beautiful bag with a confession. I have used this once. That is it. One time. And what that consisted of was taking this on a flight to Miami where it went under the seat of the plane, bringing it to the hotel in Miami where it sat on a chair. And then we flew from Miami to Las Vegas and back home. So back under the seat of the plane again and that is it. I have never carried it again. Why am I hanging on to it? There's a lot of reasons and I am I am not trying to get you to email me and ask to buy the bag. Um, a lot of YouTubers do that when they're thinking of letting things go, which is totally fine. That's not the purpose of this video. I want to have a conversation with y'all and I also want to be truthful. One of the things that has gotten me really thinking is that I have bags that I have barely used. Another example, my Chanel Boy bag. I have no idea how many times I've used this, but very, very few, and I can't tell you the last time that I used this. So, you know, there's a lot to think of. I made a list of four uh, pros towards selling, four cons of selling, and it's just, it's hard, and I loved hearing what all of your responses were. One of you told me you have over 300 handbags, you'd sold two ever in your life and regretted it. Um, some of you told me you sold almost all of them and you're down to just the ones that you truly love. Um, a lot of you just said you're scared to sell, um, that the prices aren't good, all sorts of things, but you know, I'm hoping we can have a good chat here. Um, I have, like I said, I return all the time now. Um, I just do. I just, I have so many bags because I have stopped selling and I have not stopped buying that when I get a new bag, remember I used to tell y'all that I would take the bag and kind of tour it around my closet to see if it matches my clothes. Well, I am more now hold it up against all my other bags and I'm like, what's going to make me choose this over this or this or this? Um, 
we're not getting into why I still buy bags or any of that. That's not today's, <laughs> that's not today's topic. That's a whole other thing to get into. But I did say, I think it was early January, I said it in some video, I am going to buy whatever I want until I am done because it's going to get to where I can't anymore and there's not a whole lot left that I want anyways with these price increases and all of that. Excuse me, I'm going to take a drink. My cup matches my shirt. <laughs> I haven't had a chatty video in a long time and I am... I am definitely rusty with this as you can tell. But I've been giving my bags to my daughters. I've given them each several. And most recently I gave one to Miss Minimalist and we were meeting for lunch and we got out of the car and I handed her the bag. In her hand she has a wristlet, a phone, and a key fob with a bunch of keys on it. She's, this is how she goes about and I kid you not. <laughs> And she, I handed her the bag, expecting her to put it in the trunk. And she was like, oh, this is cute. Opened it up, plopped those three things and carried it in. I don't know if she's used it since. Um, she did forget she was going to the UK earlier this year. She asked if she could borrow one of my long chomp totes. And I'm like, sure. I'm like, what's wrong with the one that I gave you? She's like, you gave me one? <laughs> Yes, I gave you one. I, you, I saw you use it. <laughs> you used it on a trip. You and your sister both were care. I gave you both one. Huh. She came over. We drove her to the airport and she had a backpack. And I'm like, do you want to borrow, you know, one of mine? The only ones I have left are the, the patterns or the Eiffel Tower. She's like, no, the backpack's good. She finally did find the bag though. So I have been letting some bags go that way. Neither of my daughters are going to be interested in this, I can just tell you right now. So let's go through the pros first and then we'll go through the cons. And I want to hear your opinions. Are you selling your bags? Are you hanging on to your bags? Are you like me and you're like, I should, I probably should, but you're not doing it for whatever your reasons are. So I think the first pro, and this is something I said on my channel for many, many years, it's money sitting on your shelf. That's a whole lot of money right there sitting on a shelf. How long have I had the bag? I got it, I think, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I got it before the, the trip last year in the spring. I think I got it. Maybe I bought it for myself for Christmas. Haven't had it that long, but I've had it long enough. It should have left the house more than once. Um, so it is, it's a lot of money sitting on the shelf and that you could get back possibly. Number two, to declutter, just to make your space look better, um, depending upon how many, you know, what your shelving situation is like, what you have, where your storage is. I have plenty of space currently. Everything is on a shelf. Nothing has to be, uh, I don't know, it's, it's organized. I have the room at the moment. But when you get to the point where you don't have the room, that declutter just always feels so good. I have been decluttering all spring, winter, summer, this whole year, and it has been just wonderful, like replacing all of my pajamas and getting rid of the old ones, redoing all the socks, all, you know, every drawer has been completely decluttered, and I just love that feeling of being a little bit more simple, so decluttering. Number three, having a curated collection. Having something for every need that you might have, you know, every event, um, whatever your lifestyle is, just having a smaller collection and going along with that, being able to use all of your bags and to rotate them properly. I myself do not consider myself to be a collector. There is nothing wrong with being a collector. My mom collected dishes. She collected cookbooks. I have a daughter that collects Starbucks cups. There's nothing wrong with collecting what you love but I just, I don't consider myself one. And yet my collection is getting bigger and bigger and bigger because I'm not letting things go. So my four cons, number one, losing money. It stinks, it absolutely stinks to lose money. I have heard that the resale market is not good right now. A lot of you have told me Fashion File either completely rejected your bag that there was nothing wrong with or they offered you very very little or trying to sell it on your own on different Facebook groups and whatever has been just very very difficult so the losing money that always stinks when I purchase a handbag 
In the beginning, I definitely took resale value into consideration. I haven't in so many years because trial and error, even if something has high resale value, you may not get high resale value. I am lucky to have this platform. It does help um, because I can sell directly and I don't have to go through a middle person if I don't want to. But um, that's still no guarantee that you're going to get your money back. And in, in most of the time, and I have told you all this for years and years, you're not. You're just not. Um, number two, this is an interesting thing we have in the USA. It was supposed to be implemented last year, but they didn't do it. And like I said, last year, I, I sold two bags last year. So I was just confused how everything was going to happen. We have a new tax law where if you get more than $600, and this is not in one transaction. This is over an entire year. If it's coming through, and if you know more than this, about, than if I'm doing this wrong and you know more than I do, please tell me down below. My understanding is rather it's through PayPal, Zelle, um, a bank transfer, a check, whatever it may be. If you accumulate more than $600 in a year, you're going to get a 1099 on that, which I'm utterly confused by because I paid 9.75% tax on that. So then I'm gonna be taxed at my husband's income level on something I've already paid tax on. So that's utterly confusing to me. I just, I don't understand that law and I have not, I haven't really, gotten into where I want to sell anything, so I haven't done a ton of research on that. I'm assuming you can count it as a loss. I mean, I'm, I'm so confused with this, this new law. I'm very confused by this new law, and that also makes me not want to sell. Um, regrets and price increases for number three. Um, I have some other eye candy with you here. Eye candy for you here. <laughs> this is my speedy, no, it's not my speedy. I told y'all I'm super rusty. I have not been talking about handbags for about eight months. Um, Trevi PM was my very first luxury bag ever. I sold it and I purchased it back, uh, I don't think last year, I think the year before from my girlfriend Andrea. I don't know why, I do know why I sold it. I've, I say this every time I show this bag. I think I just thought it was dated. I think the pleats were dated. I thought that just, I thought everything about it was just dated. I don't care anymore. I don't care whatsoever. If somebody thinks what I'm wearing is dated, I love it. I regretted it and I bought it back. And she was very kind. I just paid her exactly what she paid me. We just. You know, she kept it for me for a few years and we just traded back pretty much the same money for the same bag. So there's that, but then there's like, for example, again, let's bring the boy back out. I didn't bring too many things out here, but this bag, since I've purchased it, I'm honestly not sure how much it's gone up, but we all know it's gone up. Chanel has gone up. So if I sell this one, and if I think later on down the line, I really wish I had a boy bag in my collection. The price is so incredibly high now. I had really considered in 2020 letting some of my Chanel bags go and my husband stopped me and I thank him for that to this day. I do not have a very large Chanel collection, um, but the ones I was going to let go, I would have, I would have regretted because I, I'm not willing to spend that money on a Chanel Classic Flap. That doesn't mean you shouldn't. Do you? If you want one, get one. They're going to keep going up. I repeated that over and over. But I personally, after owning them, and there's a flaw with all of them, in my opinion, uh, or something that I just don't like. So, you know, I would not. I would not do it again. So number four, stressful the time it takes and the expense to ship. Um, this would probably be $80, maybe more to ship this. Finding a box, shipping it, it's so stressful. You're waiting for the buyer to receive it and to make sure that they like it. You're sending all these pictures and it takes, it's time consuming. It's very time consuming and it's stressful. And, it, and almost everybody agreed with me that selling is extremely stressful. Um, and number um, 
that was number four. That was it. <laughs> there was four. Um, yeah, so that is why. And then, so I brought in another example. I use this all the time, all the time, so much that I have two colors of this. This one is my favorite color. Y'all ask me all the time between this one and the caramel. I prefer the sand mink. It just works better with the majority of my wardrobe. But I have bags that I'm reaching for all of the time. So why am I letting bags sit in my closet that I don't reach for? Couldn't tell you the last time with the boy bag can tell you because it was the only time <laughs> with the Chanel bag. So what are y'all doing? Are you okay with letting things go? Have you found that the resale market is just terrible and it's there's just no value in letting it go? A lot of you said to me, if you don't need the money, hang on to it and ride this out because right now it is really bad. And I've seen in my feed, but I haven't clicked on any of them, I've seen a lot of videos on how bad the resale market is, but I haven't watched them because I haven't been planning on letting anything go. So if you're not letting anything go, it doesn't really affect you how the resale market is doing. But I'd love to have a discussion with you. How do you feel about bags? Is there like a certain number you feel comfortable having? Is there a number you feel like I'm overwhelmed? I mean, you know, I just, I just find it interesting just to have some dialogue together. But I hope you have an amazing day today and I should have a vlog for you very soon and that unboxing will be coming up very soon from Vegas. Um, I don't want to get into why it's delayed right now um, it's for some sad reasons we have to go out of town unexpectedly but um, anyways have an amazing day take care bye bye